for for me, it kind of so- seems the, so- the same way with songwriting because you got. I mean, you know, I, I listen to Loudon's music a lot, and he just he just lays it all out in the line. He tells the story. He tells exactly how he's feeling. It's like a memoir. Every everything. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think this is how the Wainwrights write, or you know, maybe this is like cathartic. Um, so so how was it different than what was the I guess, well, I mean, you said stories I might regret telling you, so it was probably easy to just kind of delete, delete some stuff, but... Uh... Yeah, I had to delete some stuff. I mean, I, I you know, the, the process was really different because, you know, when you're writing a song, um, you know, you're writing in a way where it's, you know, it's about you and your family, or you and this guy, or you and this girl, or whatever, but... Um, once the listener hears it in that moment, uh, accompanied with the music and the, the space where they might be at in their lives, it's automatically theirs. You know what I mean? That's the, it's for them, you know, I think, you know, and, um, you know, to, to identify with, to feel, to, to interpret how they want. I think with writing the book, you know, in black and white on the page, you know, forever there printed on the shelf, you know, not changing. Yeah. Um, it's more concrete, you know, and I find with music, you know, I've sung some of the same songs for over 20 years, 25 years, and they, they can take on new meaning. Uh, some of my new, some of my old songs, you know, when I sing them at 45, it's different when I wrote them at 25, you know, and so there's a more of a fluidity. And of course, with the poetry of music and the sound with instrumentation, you can change the tempo, you can change the tone, it depends on how your voice is happening at that moment. Whereas, you know, the, the, the book seems something that sort of has to be sort of chosen to say, really, as I said, kind of weighed, um, um weeded through and in, in the editing process and uh you know uh, um and I also I have two kids you know so I wanted to protect them you know I, I I'm happy to I don't want to have to censor myself but I I don't I didn't want them to pick up the book and read and me you know trashing their dad you know that's not going to be good you know so um I had to I had to really kind of think a lot about it, you know, and a lot of stuff I put on the page that I really liked, but I just was like, no, I, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did I'll you put it in the archive? Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any family members read any of it before you published it? Um, a little bit, not too much, you know, and, and I, uh, because I just felt I didn't want to have to answer to them. You know, this is really about, you know, it's my story and especially with my family where I've always had to sort of, you know, um, really, and, uh, literally sort of fold them into my own, uh, life. I mean, we all have to do that to an extent with our families, but I've had to do that <laughs> like in a, in a, in a, in a, on, in a public way, you know, right. um, I definitely had my aunt Teddy, who the book is the book is dedicated to my dad and to his sister uh, Teddy, who died um, uh, in 2020. Um, uh, she, I she would read drafts and you know she would give me her advice, but I didn't really want uh, too much advice. I what I did is I would call people up and sort of interview them and say, "Am I remembering this correctly? Did that happen? Did that not happen?" you know, kind of fact check. And especially with Rufus, you know, cause I talk a little bit about our childhood and then I go into some stuff about how our mom felt about his sexuality and some of the stories that I remember as a young person or that I had heard. And I was like, no, I, this is sort of my interpretation. Is that correct? And he would say, you know, yes, that's correct. And so he knew what, I, what was in there, you know, just by me asking those questions and me talking to him about it. Um, my father knew what would be in the book because I had to get clearance for the use of some of his um, lyrics from songs. And so just by <laughs> needing that, that clearance, and I needed the clearance in writing. So it wasn't just like, hey, dad, thank you. Can I have this? Like giving him some wine so he forgets he gave me clearance. <laughs> you know, so he yeah. knew what was going to be spoken about. And, and I talked to him about it. And I said, look, these are all things that people know. You've written about them in your book. Uh, you've sort of express your side of the story. This is going to be sort of my side of the story. It's going to be a little different. But um, 
he read it after the fact and and accepted and and actually very much enjoyed it. So I'm I was really relieved for that. Did you feel the same way about his book? I mean, I, I didn't. Um, um, I felt the same way about um, his book in different ways. You know, I kind of, you know, Loudon, Loudon's book touches on a lot of stuff, but it really kind of stays in a safe way, you know, and it's really more about um, some of the music aspect of it and the family stuff, you know, I, I think it's how he, he can express it, you know, that's how, that's how he does it, you know, and we're really different in that way. I sort of like kind of go deep down into it and sort of get into the swampy bits. And I, and I think that honestly, he appreciates that about me. I'm going to say that. I, I hope that's the case, you know, wow. and um, I, I would say that um, I read some of his book on, and I, and then some of it, I, you know, I didn't love the chapter about my mom. So I closed up. But then I went back and I enjoyed some other chapters a lot. Yeah. It seems healthy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 